Hello everybody. It's been a short while since 1883. One of the best new releases of the last couple of years has shocked us with its ninth episode. Since then, we're still trying to recover from the heart-wrenching impact that the brutal massacre scene had on us, which isn't going very well. To be honest, it's not the first time 1883 has devastated us with some tragic incidents. Given that it's a prequel to Yellowstone, which is known for its surprising twists, they're often difficult to handle emotionally. We should expect 1883 to be on the same level when it comes to impacting the audience. That being said, we don't think we have ever seen such brutality and violence on Yellowstone so far, meaning that 1883 has put the bar so high. In Yellowstone Season 4, we witnessed a patricide as Jamie killed his biological father, Garrett. And still, we believe it wasn't as bad as what we have witnessed in 1883, Episode 9. But before diving into the episode's details and what will happen in the next one, let's remember what 1883 is all about. 1883 is the prequel series to Yellowstone. It's taking place in the 19th century, a few years after the American Civil War, when there is a major demographic change taking place as the northern states are getting more crowded than ever. Amid this huge societal transformation, we're following a family that's being a part of such a change by moving from Tennessee to somewhere in the north. Which family is this? Well, of course, it's the Duttons who are the ancestors of the modern-day Duttons in Yellowstone. The show is pure historical fiction, with realistic portrayals of the era. Since history is filled with blood, sweat, and tears, we witness a lot of horrible incidents that are breaking our hearts at all times. Still, the show has managed to reach its peak as far as the tragedies are concerned about witnessing a massacre. The episode started as usual, with the Duttons and the German migrant group is moving forward toward the north after they parted ways with an Indian-American tribe that assisted them. On their way, they found out that yet another Native American tribe has been killed off brutally. The violent scene shocked the crew and they decided to find the responsible parties. And yet, they also realized that since they reached the scene first, now the other Native Americans will think that they are the ones who are responsible for this violence as their traces are mixed with the ones of the real criminals. Therefore, they decided to find the criminals first and bring them back to the Native American tribes as proof that they are innocent. Unfortunately though, even though they found the criminals and killed them, they were too late to stop the massacre of their crew. The Native American tribe reached the German group and started to kill them as they were sure these were the ones who caused such a violent scene. During the massacre, Elsa, one of our protagonists, also got injured. Still, she managed to go back to her family and receive treatment, albeit it was a primitive one. And yet, at the end of the episode, it was almost certain that she will not live for long as her injury is deadly and it's impossible to save her at this point. That being said, we believe this is a misleading move of the show. Elsa isn't only one of the leading characters in the series but also our narrator. It means that losing her isn't a very logical step since she is the one that the audience has most connected with. Therefore, we believe that Elsa will recover, possibly with the help of Sam who is her Native American husband. In our opinion, the tribe has some secret medicine and ingredients that will be able to save her, which will eventually bring her back to life, even if she loses her consciousness for a while. In other words, we expect episode 10 of the show to witness Elsa being brought back from death. What do you expect from episode 10 of 1883? Do you think Elsa will die? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.